Hello everyone. My name is Tabitha Green and this is my senior seminar for Technology and Society. How cell phones have changed the way we interact socially. The evolution of the cell phone. The very first cell phone was bigger than a house phone and came with a battery stored in a briefcase to carry around with it. It would have been very difficult to walk around talking on a cell phone like this in the early 1980s. Fortunately, times have changed and the cell phone has evolved just as much, if not more, than any other piece of technology out there. Today, cell phones are as portable as ever. Several people have their cell phones right at their sides from the minute they wake up in the morning until they go to bed at night. Along with being portable, the capabilities of a cell phone have increased an extremely large amount in the past 40 years since it was created, especially since the introduction of smartphones. Cell phones now can be pretty much anything we want or need them to do for us. Some of the convenient and innovative things cell phones do include take pictures or videos, send emails and text messages, set reminders and alarms, check our social networking sites, listen to music, look up the weather, check on sports scores, play games, unlock our cars, use it as a GPS, use it as a flashlight, read books, watch TV shows or movies, make your grocery list, and the list goes on and on. Some of the craziest things cell phones can do include swap faces with others in pictures, keep you from drunk texting certain people, pop virtual pimples, find pickup lines, track your sleep patterns, Use your phone as a metal detector, repel mosquitoes and other bugs, help you quit smoking, pop virtual bubble wrap, drink a virtual beer, detect ghosts, create a simulated candle, help you avoid people you don't want to see, try on a new hair collar, shave virtual hair, and even more. The effects of cell phones socially. Like many innovations in technology, the evolution of the cell phone brings both good and bad outcomes to the world around us. Today, our focus is on how cell phones are affecting our society and how they have changed the way we interact socially. Positive effects of cell phones on social interaction. Without a doubt, cell phones have made it way easier to communicate with people all across the globe at any time you want. In comparison to house phones, we carry cell phones with us and have them at our side almost all times of the day. If someone needs to get in touch with you right away, cell phones allow this to happen. In the event of an emergency, cell phones make it much easier to get help or inform family and friends of the situation. Cell phones also allow us to keep in touch with our loved ones and hear from them more often than we have been able to in the past. Cell phones also brought us the capability of text messaging. Instead of talking on the phone, we can send brief messages to people whenever it is convenient for us and do not even have to talk to anyone. Smartphones also allow us to communicate with others through email without being at or near a computer. This has made a communication in the business world much easier and more efficient. Smartphones have the ability to access social networking sites too. This lets us see what our friends are up to and give us yet another means of communication with others. All of this communication and social networking opens the world up for meeting new people that we never would have been able to meet before. With recent innovation like FaceTime, people can even talk face to face with each other over a smartphone. Cell phones also make it easier to make plans with a large group of friends with the capability of group messaging, where you can send a text message to multiple people and everybody can see each other's replies. Negative effects of cell phones on social interaction. Along with the many benefits we receive through cell phones, there are also several negative effects. Probably the most prominent negative social effect of cell phones is that the use of them tends to decrease the amount of social interaction done in person. People who use cell phones become so obsessed with their phone that you can expect them to not communicate with others in public as much as they, who, those who do not rely on a cell phone to communicate for, for them. If you walk around any college campus, there's probably more people walking around with their eyes glued to their cell phones or sitting in class texting instead of talking with people in person. This gives other people the signal that you care more about the person you're on the phone with than you do about the person around you at the current moment, whether you meant it or not. 
The same thing happens at restaurants, on public transportation, and movie theaters, and many other situations, and can offend the people around you. Another major social problem with cell phones is nomophobia, or the fear of being without a phone. Some people rely on cell phones so much they get to the point where they are addicted to them. People are said to be addicted to their cell phones if they cannot go half an hour without using it, whether it be for text messaging, making calls, playing games, or checking social networking sites. Teenagers make up the majority of... Sorry. Sorry about that. Teenagers make up the majority of people who use their cell phones substantially and are most likely to form this compulsion because of the peer pressure and self-esteem issues related to this age of life. When people experience cell phone addiction, they even experience physical effects during periods of withdrawal from their cell phones. Some of these symptoms include anxiety, restlessness, and ability to focus. Addicted users can rack up a cell phone bill too high for them to pay. In some cases, the cell phone addict can resort to crime to pay off the bill and get their phone back. Additionally, several people are losing their jobs or even worse, their relationships, relationships with others due to their excessive cell phone use. This new age of everyone owning a cell phone has started to change our behavior. The age at which this starts get, keeps getting younger and younger. Some children with, with cell phones refuse to be friends with other kids unless they have a cell phone too. This kind of antisocial behavior at such a young age could prove to be a problem when this generation gets older and has more of an impact on our society. Cell phones do let us keep in touch with our family more, but they can also drive a family apart. We feel like we see our families all the time, so when we are at home, we spend our time on our phones talking to other people. This leads to less and less time being spent with our family. Members of the family can become upset and feel ignored by the other members of the family. This can lead to the use of cell phones to interact with people who will actually give them the attention they are craving, thus driving a family even further apart. In conclusion, all in all, the innovation of cell phones has broken has broke down all the barriers to communication throughout the world. We are open to interact wherever and whenever we need to. Cell phones can have a negative impact on our social interaction with others. We can become obsessed with the need to be on our cell phone 24-7. However, when used in moderation, cell phones allow us to connect with loved ones, keep us safe, entertain us, and affect our lives in a good way.